In this video, I play Terraria, but I'm the Bard class. Instead of using a sword or a bow, the Bard uses music to destroy someone's will to live. From simple things like percussion instruments to laser saxophones, the Bard has a ton of cool stuff. This class was nonetheless super fun to play, and I highly recommend checking out the Thorium mod for this class. Honestly, the weapons, the armor, it was just all awesome, so make sure to watch it till endgame to see all of the crazy things we get. But other than that, enjoy the video. So the first thing I did was spawn in and died immediately because I used bombs to cut down a tree. I'm bad at the game. The first weapon I made was a whistle that I used from wood and I began playing the most soothing melody you have ever heard. Oh, it just sounds beautiful. Sounds like the root sandstorm. So like routine, I went mining and I began using the bard class, getting some ores, you know, you get the whole shebang. Basically, let me talk about the bard system now. The bard is kind of like the shaman class where it has like a buffings them that going on the bard is meant to be kind of like a co-op class too you could basically buff your teammates and buff yourself actually there's actually a ton of stuff i'll talk about this later after getting some more resources such as iron i went ahead and made a harmonica our first goal was to actually fight the thunderbird boss which is the first thorium boss because it actually is going to drop some type of saxophone thing it's called a digidaru thing I, I don't know basically our goal right now is to get some thorium or some other bard accessories and armor in order to fight the thunderbird boss okay so while i'm getting all of this stuff let me explain how the bard works basically we can only only attack when we have this little thingy called inspiration it's like this thing that's above our head i think we only have five for now on top of that there's multiple categories of bard weapons such as percussion woodwind so you know if you're, if you're a musician you know what i'm talking about but basically every single weapon each has like a buff that they can do on a scale of one to three as well and we don't really have effective buffs right now but trust me they, they are super good anyways i basically found opals thorium ore which are very delicious but i went ahead and made a thorium anvil and tried to craft our first inspiration increase fragment yeah it would basically increase our total inspiration count i just needed some star powder and some other stuff I, I don't remember but basically a star fell on the roof that night but yeah all we needed now was some armor and luckily for us the bard actually can have very simple very simple armor set at the beginning all you need is some cobwebs to make cloth so i went ahead and got the cobwebs that i needed and i made the crier's armor set which looks like a very weird robin hood anyways now we just needed some dps so i went ahead and crafted a platinum horn oh since I was so lazy to build an arena for the desert, by the way, I, I just went ahead and tried to find a builder's potion because I can make an instant arena builder. Uh, it didn't work, so I just, I think I died, actually. Okay, I think I'm just going to fight the uh, Eye Cthulhu because if I fight the Thunderbird, I'm going to have to grind stuff. But if I fight the Eye Cthulhu, which I already have the spawner for, I should be able to get a bunch of NPCs, which allow me to basically speed through the game, which is much better. So I think we're going to go with that idea. Anyway, I'm in an arena and here's the fight. Oh, man. So we're doing like 15 to 30-ish damage, which is actually kind of bad because when it starts dashing like crazy when it has 100 HP, I don't know if we can tank it in time. Also, why is there so many small I Cthulhu's? And also, I'm taking, I'm actually taking damage, which is really annoying. Off topic, but I'm on, uh, what is it called? Season 3 of Stranger Things is pretty good. Wait, we're doing more damage to it. Why are we doing more? Oh, wait, I forgot. It loses defense. I completely forgot. No, then they're scary. I think we should have more than one um, instrument. Well, obviously, because what is it called? We can, we can get like a ton of buffs. If we can get buffs that actually are like really, really good for combat, dude, we can just have them stack up and... St oh, man, that'd be really good. There we go. Fantastic. Oh, dude, let's go. Woo! Oh my gosh. After that, I went ahead and made an arena for the Thunderbird fight and began farming the spawn materials for the boss. You needed some talons and... Some other stuff. I talked about it before, but here's the clip of me talking about it. All right, we're gonna need to farm. Uh, what is it called? What are those vultures? We need to farm them for three talons, and then we need to farm arcane dust. Oh man, which is fallen stars. Yoink! All right, just don't get hit. We do a lot of damage. Oh, I forgot it does that. Oh my god, dude, I'm not even paying attention, bro. I'm 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 getting hit by the most easy attacks to dodge. Is he gonna dash? Just do it. I still get hit by it. <laughs> Oh, I dodged it. Yeah. Dude, bar class is pretty good, man. I want that digidaru that you dropped. That saxophone. He drops a saxophone. That's what we're doing him for. Yeah, we killed it. Fantastic. Please tell me we get the digidaru first try. We don't. That's fantastic. After the fight with the Thunderbird, as you can see, we didn't get the saxophone weapon thing that I wanted to get. So instead, I opted to just get a replacement weapon, which was a loot. And it required a sky island because you need some sky blocks and stuff like that. Fallen stars. But yeah, I didn't do that stuff. I did some other things to get the materials. And also, I got the weapon. This shoots a ricocheting shooting star upon bouncing a burst is released and playing whatever. Basically, this thing pierces, I'm pretty sure. But as... Oh my gosh. 
Look at this thing. Ain't no way we're not killing the Brain of Cthulhu, bro. <laughs> Holy crap. After I crafted the loot, I felt pretty confident. So I went ahead into the Crimson to try and fit the Brain of Cthulhu because this weapon does have piercing, but I died. After I gave up, I went to go farm the Thunderbird instead for this Axe Phone thing. I might as well just grind it manually. Ah, uh, whatever, dude. We're going to fight the Thunderbird and get that digital. I, dude, I don't know how to pronounce it, man. I don't care how to pronounce it. I don't want to search it up, man. I <laughs> it took me several attempts to get the saxophone. It's called the Digidaru. You know what? Digi, digi, dude, so I don't know, dude. I don't. It took me a while, but I did get it after, uh, you know. I don't, why do we hold it like that? Dude, there's no, ain't no way we're not going to beat the Brain of Cthulhu now. Ain't no way. I was once again super confident because I was like, I got a freaking saxophone that can pierce through like literally everything. Uh, I, I thought I was 100% going to defeat it, but I died. So I decided to switch my armor set from this bard set to this defense focus set from the blacksmith that would just, you know, increase my defense. I think it increased it by eight. I don't remember. And I also decided to bring some grenades and a crimson rod. The only reason why I'm doing this is because I'm not going to get stuck on the Brain of Cthulhu fight when I have to do an entire playthrough in a few days. Anyway, here's the fight. Oh my god. Get that eight defense buff. Pop up the digi did the blah blah blah. See where it teleports. Okay, it teleports there. Pop it again. And you know what? Screw it. I'm done with some grenades. Dude, that does so much damage. Like literally. Dude, I'm so glad I can use more than one weapon, man. Holy. This thing's knockback is insane, man. Dude, it's taking unbelievably long to kill it. Oh, it's almost dead. We got this. We got this. We got this. Easy. Just don't screw. It. Oh. Let's go. All right. After the fight, we have access to making a new armor set, but we're going to need some more cobwebs. So I went ahead and went mining and because I also needed to get some thorium ore. After I had all of the materials, I went home and made my new armor set, which looks absolutely fantastic. This is definitely one of my favorite armor sets. Of course, you know, what's next is Skeletron. Uh, I wanted to get some more weapons though and also the King Slime Mount. Uh, I was also able to find the Goblin Tinkerer and I began mining some more thorium ore in order to increase our max inspiration count. There was also some wood that dropped in the Goblin Army fight called You Wood that I was able to use in order to craft a sitar. And the last weapon I wanted to get was a meteorite oboe so i went ahead found a meteorite made that oboe thing and i don't even think it was that good one more thing after that actually i just needed to get a king slime mount and luckily for me there was a slime rain all right king slime please yes after that i went ahead and went to the dungeon to get ready for skeletron and i kind of already knew it was going to take a very long time like suffering i mean it always does but uh yeah here's the fight all right, let's get the defense buff. And we took 43 to da 80 damage. Honestly, I don't know if this shark tooth necklace is going to help. Regen. Okay, there we go. I think we have... The only thing we don't really have is the DPS. But in terms of survivability, I think we can survive it. Because our life regen is insane right now for our weapons and our buffs. And also, our, our defense is literally 40. Does the shark tooth necklace help or not? I can't tell. All right, we got both the hands. All right, we're doing like 13-ish damage. If we use not that, how much are we doing? Is this doing more damage because it pierces twice? No, it's not. Come on, 2,000 HP. We do about how much in this phase? I don't even know, dude. Please. I told you, DPS is always an issue during this fight. Come on, go in your spinny, spinny mode, your Beyblade mode. Yes. To shot the damage. Literally not even worried. And you are donezo. There we go. All right. Pockets of granite marble. Oh, yeah. I forgot. We have DLC bosses. Skeletron hand. All right. All right. Whatever. Let's go into the dungeon. Get some. Get our sparring manipulator. Oh, that took so long. The fight took extremely long. Uh, I, I, I was able to feed him before daytime, but at the cost of what? My mental health. Whatever, dude. It, it, it just takes a long time, dude. Skeletron always does. I don't know why. Honestly, man, maybe I should just play in normal mode. I'm kidding. I would never. I decided to go ahead and get some more hellstone in order to craft a new weapon called the Hot Horn. Afterwards, I crafted a ton of bard accessories each complementing either uh woodwind percussion brat what you know you get it i don't know uh, i don't know instruments basically whatever accessory you use would buff whatever category of instrument you you know decide to pick so before ultimately fighting the wall of flesh i went to go fight the queen bee in the jungle in order to craft a new weapon and it's a very good weapon so here's the queen bee fight where is it is it in here oh this is a really good uh accessory it's making that weird like, little bing, 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 bing. i'm such a good instrumental person Whatever that, what is that called? A musician? Oh yeah. Oh, we do so much damage. Oh, we're doing so much damage. That's just delicious. We're taking so much damage. Oh, we're taking. <laughs> oh, he's spamming. He's upset. Come on, it's gonna die. It's gonna die. It's gonna die. It's gonna die. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes. After the Queen Bee fight, I went ahead and crafted that weapon that I was talking about and just check it out. This gives us life regen plus one life per second. Oh, that's fantastic. Let's put that there. Okay, the honey recorder. So. Okay, does that? Does it home? I don't think so. So it covers in honey. And then it shoots out bees like that. Oh, this is gonna be insane. <clears throat> Oh my god. After I got all the gear, I went to the underworld to get ready to fight the wall of flesh, just like usual. This is routine. I mean, like, you guys know this already. Uh, I felt more confident than the other classes because my DPS was decent and we could have, like, you know, decent space from the, you know, the boss itself. But anyway, here's the fight. Maybe only this. This one actually pierces... Actually, yeah, we'll just use this. What am I doing? Yeah, I'll use these for buffs. Why is everything left? Dude, 
the thing that's so weird, right, is my, I think it's this, this hot horn thing. It makes all of the, um, I don't know. It just makes all of the enemies go weird. Like, you see how the hungry are moving like that? Why does it do that? Oh, yeah. Actually, let's just, just use this, dude. It's doing like 50 something damage and pierces. Yeah, look at that thing. Holy crap. Dude, this thing's insane. This freaking plunger mute. They were really just beating him up with the power of music. Holy crap. Let's just use the bees. Use the bees to finish him off. We're gonna regen all the way. Oh, wait, we're taking a lot of damage. Oh, we're taking a lot of damage. Use the power of the trumba. What? I don't know what instrument this is. The horn? The on. Oh my God. No way. Oh, dude, 38. Dude, we got too cocky there. And there we go. Bing bong. Now we're in hard mode. So like usual, I went up to go eat some demon altars and I went through the hard mode ores. I wanted to get a weapon capable of like penetrating through the destroyer. So I began making these geo things and I ended up crafting the saxophone. I also made a piano or keyboard. I don't know. Anyway, with that taken care of, I went to go get a new armor set and new accessories. Actually, before that, I went to go get wings. Very fun. But yeah, after that, I went down into the mines in order to get some souls of night to make a new armor set. I think I have enough souls of oh what the hell are these marching band armor it does not look as cool as our armor dude yeah, we literally look like or whatever. I mean, like the last thing I wanted to do was to get a saxophone from the desert. I needed some desert things. There's some just, you know, they're just modern materials. With all of our current gear, I went ahead and tried out the destroyer as the bard class. And honestly, maybe the amount of penetration for our weapons would be enough. I don't know. Here's the fight. How long does it last? Seven seconds? Perfectly fine. This is broken. No, it's broken. How about the trombone? Okay, trombone's fine, but this hot horn is insane. It pierces through the world, and it just does that little... Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. Let's put these Nimbus rods down as well. Adrian, can you open the door? Okay, there we go. I ran into that myself. Yeah, our piercing is insane. We need more buffs, man. I don't know. 10% critical strike chance. Wait, that's so good. Wait, use this to get the strike chance. And then this, whenever you hit a, stri a critical strike, it uses that extra boom effect. The the, uh, the the accessory triggers it. I'm dying, though. Let me use the laser to finish it off. Nice. After I accidentally entered poverty, I tried to farm for the bard emblem because I wanted to at least be a little bit stronger for the next fight. Um, It took a while. I was very unlucky, but eventually I did get it. And then with this, we could upgrade one of our four accessories that we made earlier. You know, each one for the uh, whatever category of music you pick. And I ended up choosing the one that would help out my hot horn, which is a brass instrument. And I used this against the destroyer. With the hollowed bars that I got from the fight, I was able to craft this insane megaphone. Um, I mean, Just look at how this thing shreds the destroyer. So yeah, I felt super confident confident now we have really good dps you know awesome fantastic so i challenged the twins but i died definitely just a skill issue so other than me being completely trash a thing that i noticed was maintaining my inspiration was super duper hard because you do a lot of damage right but then you have to let it recover and you just die whatever anyway i did a rematch with the twins here it is all right we're gonna use the laser i think the laser does the most damage what am i taking damage to bruh okay there we go yes yes yeah i should have just used this laser from the beginning dude what was i doing all right now i'm just taking unnecessary damage teleport heal fantastic get the hell out of here oh dude why is he so tanky now bro he's not dying please you're like literally almost there you're at your deathbed 953 hp there we go dude holy crap dude why does it do so much damage thank you after I killed the twins, I fought Skeletron Prime. You already know how this goes, you know, just a very long, winded out, whatever type of fight, me using music. Enjoy the fight. Here you go. Let's figure out what does the most damage against Skeletron Prime and abuse that. It's going to take a while, but we have all night, so. I can't tell if the laser does a lot of damage or not. It, like, it, it feels like it does, but then after a while, it just doesn't. Dude, we take so much damage. I'm telling you, bro. We are taking so much damage. Like, I feel like when I get hit, I feel like I'm getting sucker punched in the little bitch. What, what am I even saying, bro? Literally, the damage that's most consistent is the hot horn. Like, I'm not even being, like, I'm being for real. It's the most consistent damage. The laser is weird. The megaphone's weird. Dude, my, my set bonus is doing way more damage consistently than my damage, I'm pretty sure. Dude, look. I, you literally stand still during this phase and nothing happens. All you have to do is damage it because it's so tanky. Why couldn't they make the defense lower at this phase? Why? 
Why do you have to deal with his annoying freaking... Oh, my, oh my God. Wait, our set bonus is so much damage. And you're dead. It only took a long time. After the Skeletron Prime fight, we have no access to some new weapons and armor. Oh, wait, no. We do have access to some new weapons and armor. With these new additions, we're, there was like no way we were going to lose to Plantera. Like, it, there really wasn't. All right, do it. The megaphone doesn't do shit. How about this? This does actually do amazing damage. All right, we can do this. We just got to keep rolling around town. I just forgot. We have to increase our um our our inspiration. We can increase it now because we're in hardcore. Dude, I completely forgot. We've been playing at a handicap, my friends. We could actually be even stronger. Oh gosh, it's cranky. Dead. You dunzo. Tons of stuff happened that I don't really care about. After the plan terrified, I already noticed, or I kind of knew that there was a ton of Thorium bosses that we can fight, but I don't want them to really interfere with this playthrough too much. So I began making a new set of weapon instruments using like vanilla stuff. And ironically, I made a strawberry guitar, which uses modded ore, but it was pretty cool. I then made a Plantera electric guitar, rock guitar. Um, um, I also completely forgot to increase my inspiration. We could definitely have done that with like souls of night and light. So here's me doing that with our current weapons and current gear. I went to the temple to fight golem. Why is it always in a horrible location? Like, how do you, you know what? I'm not even going to question it dude whatever all right let's fight the uh the golem let's just oh this is really good just kind of walk around i mean like we're literally using a plantera rock electric guitar we're playing rock or metal what? i think metal is more appropriate rock metal is that in that i don't know dude it's 7 a.m for me man uh <laughs> Ooh, we're doing a lot of da this thing does a lot of damage but why it's because they're tuned the enemy is tuned it's dead actually after the golem fight i crafted some specter bars in order to craft this ghastly french horn now of course before doing the lunar event i had this debate on whether to do the pumpkin moon and frost moon but i ended up just going straight to the lunatic cultist to get the lunar weapon instead <laughs> This is really cool. Okay, yeah, so this sucks enemies in and then explodes them. Probably this one, right? Yeah, this one. I think this one seems to work. Oh, I'm dying. What? It's so much damage. This one is the best in dodging. But using all of them in general is really good to get all their buffs. I might have just thrown because I wasn't paying attention in the beginning. Dude, how is this thing not dead? But the power of music. Die. There we go. Oh, drop the treasure bag. Does it always drop a treasure bag? No, it doesn't. We got magic weapons. Don't matter. I decided to go after the nebula pillar first because it's the easiest one in modded Terraria in order to make our first lunar weapon for the bard. And then I crafted this weapon and decided to test it out against the pirates. This thing just homes them and just kills. But this thing is good for grouping things up and killing them. See? It like groups them up and destroys them. But this one's also just destroying things in general. Now, before fighting the other pillars i wanted to craft some terrarium items these are basically the thorium mods version of like endgame ores minus luminite so these would basically combine most ores together and are a very good end game armor set. With that being said, I also wanted to craft a terrarium subwoofer, which would give me buffs for the bard class and also terrarium armor on top of that. I also noticed at this point that I accidentally skipped a ton of bard armor sets because I skipped through like a, a ton of, you know, thorium mod bosses, but my DPS was doing all right. So I thought we, you know, we didn't really need another armor set. But yeah, anyway, I went around to getting a ton of new ores in order to craft this delicious stuff. I also remembered about increasing our inspiration fragments using star pebbles that dropped from the lizard temple. After finally getting that max inspiration limit i went towards crafting the full terrarium armor set this armor set if you didn't know is multi-class but it does give a set bonus based on whatever weapons you're using and so since we're using bard weapons we're gonna get a bard set bonus so here's the thing right we're about to beat the lunar events and then after the lunar events we beat the primordials which is the final boss of thorium and then we can get the last gear set for our bard whatever right but we skipped out essentially like five bard armor sets Okay, I think what we're going to do is we're just going to beat the final boss. We're going to beat Moonlord. We're going to beat Primordials. And then after that, um, for everything else, like all of the other gear, you guys can figure that out. That way, when you try the mod, hey, there's more stuff for you guys. Yay. Now, there was only one more lunar weapon to get, so I made my way to the Stardust Pillar. This new weapon was a little confusing to use, but I continued progressing my way through the pillars, and yeah. But anyway, like usual, after defeating the pillars, as we know, the Moon Lord was on his way, and all I was thinking about, honestly, was what I wanted to eat for dinner. Anyway, here's the fight with the Bard class. I hope you enjoy. Yo, favorite uh, Stranger Things character, Officer Hopper. I hope that's a good choice. Oh, I forgot! We gotta freaking reforge this! Ah! All right, this can't be that bad, right? Oh, our DPS is not 
the best, huh? I'm gonna use the harmonica. This thing seems to be doing a lot of damage. Oh yeah, it is. As long as I can actually hit it. Imagine having music that is just so painfully here that you will literally explode just from listening to it. Why is it taking so much damage all of a sudden? Dude, I was thinking about it, right? Like, what if I play as the healer class, right? The hell am I gonna do against the freaking Moon Lord as the healer class? Give him a band-aid and hopefully he fucking suffocates from it. Oh, fantastic. Um, apparently the uh, the second eyeball's gone. Um, please just die. I'm an aspiring artist trying to make it out of the boonies. Come on. And you're still alive. Oh, that was pretty close. I'm gonna go head home, bro. I need a nurse. Uh <laughs> there we go. That's what I'm talking about. First try, no sweat. Totally wasn't worried. My eyes kind of hurt. After beating the Moon Lord, we got Lucio's weapon, which did a crap ton of damage, by the way, but it used up our inspiration like insanely, insanely fast. But finally, we had access to crafting our Lunar Armor Set, the Shooting Star Armor Set. Now, usually, you know, we would end the video here, but Thorium actually adds one more endgame boss, which are the Primordials, and I like to defeat them because they actually have actual endgame weapons and armor that we quite literally need to get. So I ended up crafting the summon item for the primordials called the Doomsayer coin, which uses fragments from every single pillar. And before fighting it, I also crafted the terrarium boots. After that, I began fighting the primordials. Hey, 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 whoa, 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 relax. Okay, I burned to fucking cinders, man. After the first stuff, I rethought and prepared as best as I could, you know, getting as much buffs as I possibly could, reforging all of my gear, doing everything that I, you know, possibly could, everything that I possibly missed, and I still died a ton. Are you? My orange juice. The main thing holding me back was the limited use of inspiration. Like, you couldn't just blast it out. Like I said, you actually have to manage it. Dude, how do you beat that boss, man? He moves so fucking- We're burning like a fucking- <laughs> No! <laughs> oh my god, dude. Dude, 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 dude! But eventually, I was actually lucky enough to finally just defeat the primordials. Pop, heal. Wait, we can't heal? Four seconds? Oh my god, oh my god. I'm in the zone, bro. The fucking auto zone. Ah, please, 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 no, 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 we got it, we got it, we got it. No, no, no. Oh my god, no, please. Dude, 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 what is that projectile? What a fucking spin! Leave me alone, 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 leave me alone. Regen, 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 regen. We need 40, we need 40. 40, 40, 40. Oh my god! Come on, come on, yes! Oh, I hate this boss so much. Oh, yes, yes. After the fight, I was able to buy the Primordial's treasure bag with the materials that gave me access to making just a full endgame bard armor set. So enjoy my reaction to that. So first of all, let's put on the armor. Oh, fantastic. Let's test it out. This is the end game testing out all the gear. Okay. Interesting stuff. Interesting stuff. What about our flute? Okay. Does this stuff home? It does home. Interesting. Interesting. All right. What about our... Okay, now what about our sousaphone? This is the laser one, so. Ooh, okay. This is really good. All right, and then our, um, our mid, whatever. This is the, okay, this is the strongest weapon. This is the strongest one, I think. Let's use this. Oh, man. Oh, man. But yeah, that was the bar class. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to check out the Thorium mod because it's absolutely awesome. This class is really fun. And yeah, it's been Adrian, guys.